What's going on, guys? We're back once again, and we're going to be talking about another movie review. And finally, we're going to be talking about uh, Deathstroke, <laughs> Dragons, and Knights. Uh, I can't believe that, or Knights and Dragons. I cannot believe this was actually a movie. I, I had no idea that Deathstroke actually had gotten a movie. It truly astounded me that we finally got a movie about Deathstroke in the entirety of that we have been wanting something of Deathstroke. We get this. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say this right now, guys. It wasn't that bad of a movie, but it wasn't the best either. If you guys want something to watch, uh, I would do, I would recommend to uh, check it out. It's not that bad of a film, but at the same time, it's one of those where I don't think the animation is that good. Uh, the story itself is very well done. Uh, <clears throat> some of the fight scenes is, is all right as well. Now, pretty much what this is, it goes into Deathstroke's backstory a little bit of when he uh, he's married, he has a son, of course, by Jer uh, Jericho, and, he find and of course, it goes a little bit in the backstory where uh, he was just a hired assassin, and then right when his wife finds out that who what he really does of him being a mercenary, aka Deathstroke, his, their son gets taken by Hive. By the jackal and basically he tells uh deathstroke that we want you to join he says no so right when deathstroke tries to save his son his son's throat gets slit and that's how come i guess it activates to read minds and once that happens we do see when deathstroke still becomes an assassin throughout the entirety of the film then we later find out not just about Deathstroke himself but we also see more about his wife uh, Adeline we see more about Jericho we also have Rose in this movie which is really interesting uh, aka spoilers she is the so-called new leader of Hive uh, we do get to find out uh, how she pretty much was raised uh especially with her mother being killed at very young uh where her Slade met her at some point when he recently found out about his abilities. He didn't know how to deal with it, so unfortunately he slept with someone. She ended up pregnant, and of course Rose came and inherited his abilities. So he later finds out that his son has abilities, and he later finds out that he has a daughter he never knew about, that he she has abilities as well. So then he goes through this entirety of the story of dealing with having two children having to go up against uh, not just them but also trying to save them at the same time so in all in all this movie was actually very entertaining but at the same time again I don't think the animation could have been as up to par I guess you'd say uh, I think the animation was not that well done it looked a lot older than what it could have been because at the same time guys you look at all these different movies that DC has done and I think they kind of went below the bar on this one. I thought they could have done a lot better. Uh, I thought they could have been just a little bit more, just more entertaining. Because it just, it didn't seem like it was the best movie for DC. I didn't think it was the best move for them to go, okay, hey, let's let's do DC, let's do a Deathstroke film. Uh, but they did not, unfortunately, give us the Deathstroke that I think that a lot of people wanted visually. It did not look good visually. That was my main problem with this film. Story-wise, it was absolutely amazing. It left you on a good cliffhanger. It gave Deathstroke that anti-hero that we've always liked about Deathstroke. It didn't give us the just you know the Batman view of Deathstroke. They didn't give us the the Robin view of Deathstroke or the T Titan version of Deathstroke. They actually gave us the version anti-hero version of Deathstroke that we never really got in the films or the that much of the comics or the cartoons or even the games. So I'm very happy to see that Deathstroke finally got his shine, time to shine, so to speak, for a little bit. And it was actually, again, it was not that bad. Just the visualization was not what I thought it was going to be. But at the same time, it was a fun film. Uh, at first, I thought it was a series because I, I don't know if you guys remember, if you guys are even saw it. Uh, when I first looked at this, I actually thought it was going to be a series, but actually it turned out to be a movie, which again is perfectly fine. I had no idea that it was going to be a film. I had no idea even this thing this was being made. I thought it was going to be a CW online, like uh, I, I want to say, what was it? Uh, I can't I can't remember. I think I think it was a. Uh, 
like one of the other CW shows they were going to put on the CW online. But other than that, guys, again, it was not that bad of a film. We do have other villains that do make a, a appearance. We have well, not really villains, but we do have uh, we do have uh, Tiger Claw that makes a uh, our Bronze Tiger. We have in this movie. We have uh, Rose. We have Jericho. We have uh, a, few, a few ones that are like not well known uh, in the DC verse, but it's pretty much where. I think DC is really branching out to other characters, whether it is pretty much is either anti-villain or anti-hero, whichever one you prefer. But either way, I think this film was actually pretty good. So if you guys have not seen it, go check it out. Go buy it on DVD. Go watch it online. It is out right now. Uh, I do recommend you go check it out. Again, is it a must-buy? Unfortunately, no, it is not. It's one of those where you can watch it online, probably save you a little money. Like That's how I watched it. I was just looking for something online to watch. Came across this. Figured you guys would enjoy this review. Uh, if you guys did, please leave a like. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Again, uh, I give it maybe 1 out of 10. I give it a 5. Uh, due, again, to visualization, I give it to a little bit of uh, the acting, which is kind of interesting because the one that does the voice of Deathstroke out of all things was uh, Michael uh, Kirkless from uh, Gotham, if you guys don't remember. So uh, I, I pretty much know him from Gotham. Uh, also from Fantastic Four, so he ain't that, uh, he, he's pretty much very well known if you guys recognize him from any DC or Marvel films. So it's one of those where at least they got someone that was kind of close to uh, playing the role, but I actually was kind of hoping we'd get someone a little different to play the role. I was hoping we'd get someone from the actual, uh, m maybe who originally did the voice, I don't know. That's my own personal opinion. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. If you guys are new channel, once again, check it out. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the movie. If you guys seen it, okay, cool. If not, that's cool too. Let me know what you guys think about it, and we'll talk soon.